Oh, it's Benny. Hello. <laughs> Are you sad that I'm going on again and no not coming? Are you a bit sad about it? I'm a bit sad about it too, little puppy dog. Little, little puppy dog. A little, little puppy dog is. Bless you. Oh, shaky, shaky. I'm going to say bye-bye. Goodbye, little Bobby. I will miss you today and tomorrow, actually. Hello. <laughs> right, I've got to pack my bag and then I'm going outside into the unknown, into the rain, actually. To the rain, Penny. The rain. Hi. <laughs> what is this weather? <laughs> Bye, doggies. See you. <laughs> Skittish. <laughs> Which way, sign? <laughs> it's pointing down, we're doomed. <laughs> I love how we're so English, we have all of this space, but we have to park next to the car. Order. <laughs> Order? <laughs> Civilization. Well, we made it. We're in Dartmoor. Let's just go home now. <laughs> We've been to Dartmoor. Go to the toilet. Yeah, go to the toilet. <laughs> right then. Into the wild we go. Yeah. Oh, good. Not good, then. Right, sort out the mess. <laughs> Right, that'll do. Off we go. Let's get rained on by the <laughs> Yeah, all locked, check them all. So here we go. Avon Dam Reservoir, that's where we go. Look, if we walk 1.5 miles, then we're done. Yep. Just go back then. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? South Brent, another billboard. Take a stroll. Huh. Half past twelve. Oh, it's a late yeah, start, no, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. Brock Hill. Abbot's Way. Yeah, this is great. Hopefully. We're going this way now anyway. Wow, look. At that. Whoa. It was a wet and cold mid-February day as my friend Anne and I headed out from Shipley Ridge Car Park to embark on our micro-adventure. We intended on hiking to Burrator Reservoir and camping around Crazy Well Pool, but as you'll soon find out, things didn't quite go to plan. Dude, like, we've hardly walked like 100 meters. <laughs> Epic waterfall, massive nodule thing. <laughs> it's all going on. Yeah. Yep. We like the moss. The first leg of our walk took us past some old settlements and alongside the roaring River Avon. We were heading for the Avon Dam, built in 1957 to form the Avon Reservoir. That's our shelter! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, it's a what? What? It's just a wall. That's disappointing. <laughs> the trees obviously that's normally the bank it's quite high and it's been up here Woo. It's gonna be wet it's quite nice down here actually it's uh, a little bit more sheltered as you can see precipitation has eased off a little bit not sure I should be saying that out loud given <laughs> we did that in the car it was like Oh, it's easing off, it's easing off, and then it's like. <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe we should keep our weather thoughts to ourselves. Okay, <laughs> that's our pack for the next two days. <laughs> wow, <laughs> dam! <laughs> Gosh, that is a real big dam. See the choppy water there and the dam itself. 
Wow. We didn't stop to admire the dam for long, aware of the miles ahead of us and the limited light that we had to work with. Conditions underfoot were really quite wet, but things were about to become much more interesting as we came across a stream, now a river, that, that we had to cross. It. Oh, there's three parts. Just trying to find a place to cross this river. Obviously everything is so full of water. I just need to be careful find a reasonably stable spot. We walked upstream, looking for a narrow and shallow stretch from which we could safely leap to the opposite bank. It was slow going, but eventually we were able to take the leap of faith. I'm gonna go here. Ha! Ah, obstacle one done. <laughs> Woohoo! We got a few more of these, I have a feeling. <laughs> ah, you can just about see the river there. Again, really forceful. There's a wall there, so we're about to join the two moors way which goes up over here to Holne, so familiar territory. Yay! <laughs> wow, look at that. <laughs> Crossing over, that is fast flowing. Do not want to get caught in that. And then what we're going to do is follow the river to a clapper bridge. A little further on, we pass by the Huntingdon Cross thought to have been erected as a way marker for the Abbot's Way. Pretty cool. Fence is padlocked. We're going over. So gonna die. Can I just... <laughs> Stay here. Yeah, make it a bit taller. Yeah. Do you want to hold a map? Oh, you're good. Stealth mode, look at that. I can aspire. <laughs> right, along the river now. Yeah. It keeps getting like wet on and off. Obviously when we're in the cloud it's wet. It's not too bad, but the wind is like constant. Uh, obviously it's so wet underfoot and a bit knobbly. <laughs> So we're trying to find this clapper bridge right now. There's the clapper bridge. I don't know if you can see that. The water is splashing over it. Let's have a look. Let's try and get to it first. <laughs> so obviously we're by the bridge and we know we need to go up there, but I know that up there is very pathless, so we're going to take a bearing. <laughs> wow. Following our bearing, we headed up into the pathless moors, making sure to pay close attention to the map, using mm. catching features to ensure we didn't overshoot our desired destination. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see this, we've got a couple of walls here hopefully that we'll pick up. Um, so we're sort of working on a bearing heading up one of these gullies, so you can see this little gully here, so this is proper micro nav now, and we're going to hit this wall and then jump across the second probably follow it to these boulder things and then cut up to this path. It's important because this is not a clear stretch at all. And then we can follow this. That should be on the trail, on, yeah, the, on yeah. the ground. And then we'll follow our route. So that's the plan. Happy? We are. Yay. Happy hikers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dodgy stuff this. So like undulating. Gotta be careful. And the conditions 
positions underfoot. Just gotta pace it out. As we climbed higher, the wind grew stronger and navigation proved to be difficult as none of our catching features actually existed on the ground. We were beginning to grow concerned about the conditions and time, but continued on our desired route, feeling somewhat reassured as we came upon a stone marker for the two moors way. I do not remember seeing that. <laughs> Windy. Walking on a mile further, we finally voiced our doubts, agreeing that the conditions were worsening and becoming slightly unsafe, so we pulled out the map and made a plan B. Um. Okay guys, we've just spent about 10-15 minutes looking, yeah, looking at the map, um, so you can see it now whilst I'm talking. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to join the two mods where we're changing our plans because uh, the conditions are pretty wet and windy we're obviously getting wet and cold and colder as we stand here talking um, so we're going to follow the two mods away which is a good track now and uh, basically just keep going until we find somewhere to camp um, and then tomorrow we might do a short day we'll do something else but I think safety is first here you agree? cool, let's go! <laughs> we were now walking along a disused tramway heading south though it proved to be more of a river than a path it was often hard to stay upright in the gusts, which at times must have averaged 50 miles an hour. Oh. <laughs> in the river. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Can you see that? <laughs> wow. Dude, that shows how wet it is. Permanent residence. <laughs> Despite the water underfoot, we made good time and kept a pace that allowed us to stay warm. We soon found ourselves passing old tin workings, an industry that's thought to have originated in the pre-Roman times yeah, exactly. and continued right through to the 20th century. It goes down. Our initial plan B had been to press on along the track, then cut east along a bridleway to some woods where we hoped to camp. We never saw the bridleway. So instead, we made a plan C, which was to drop down off the moors and head to Harford Bunkhouse. We had no idea, though, whether they were open. Moors way. So this will take us down to Ivy Bridge. We tried ringing the bunkhouse, but they didn't pick up, did they? Oh, mud. Here's the little track. Okay, so within the last 10 minutes, uh, the bunkhouse half had just got back to us, which is great. So we're gonna go up there. We're gonna join the little road and hike up it. And that's where we'll stay tonight. Tomorrow we'll work out later. <laughs> Let's just get dry. <laughs> oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, dog. No. You made me jump. It's okay, puppy. I remember you. <laughs> Um, uh, light, lights <laughs> would be helpful. Maybe. Oh, that's a light. <laughs> Maybe this is the main now. Yay, car. <laughs> so we're in our sleeping bags. All is going well. We've made a rough plan for tomorrow. Probably going to walk all the way to the car. It's about nine, ten miles. Um, a bit of a B road to get through tomorrow out of Ivy Bridge, so we'll see what that's like. Um, but then we'll pick up the roads, just little roads, and wind our way all the way back to the car, and then do something in the afternoon, just have a bit of fun. But I'm really looking forward to it. Today's been a really good day, really enjoyed it. I can tell I'm going to sleep well as well, which is good. Um, this bunkhouse is a bit strange, but oh, look, oh, I said the word sleep, that's why. Uh, it's a bit strange, but it's dry and um just uh, feels a bit like a hollow shell I suppose because there's like no life here um but yeah so anyway just wanted to fill you in we've looked at the map all good to go we'll see you in the morning <laughs> sleep well <laughs> the so we started here and then we walked up to the dam and then we got to here and then we reassessed didn't we so instead of going that way we went south 
Yeah. Came down. Do, 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 do. Oh, let's hang out around here somewhere. And now we're going to go down, join the road, and circle all the way back up to the car. So that part remains unexplored for now. It does. We will return <laughs> another day. On a finer day. On a finer day. <laughs> right then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we are on the move. We've got Eccles cakes all as well with the world. We've actually got some blue sky as well today, which is just the most amazing thing. Some sunshine, real morale boost. It was so wild last night. Um, it would have been extremely interesting to be in a tent in those conditions. Um, but oh, chickens! Good morning, chickens. <laughs> anyway, so we're on the move. So as I said before, our plan is obviously to skirt back around to the car, mostly road walking now, but we can do that nice and quick and have the afternoon just to do whatever we do here on Dartmoor. Um, so here we go, let's get some miles in. So that's where we turned off last night to get to the bunkhouse. You can see here, one and a half miles down to Ivy Bridge. Keyword, down. <laughs> uh, we may have spoken too soon about the weather. It's like black over there, <laughs> where we're walking towards. <laughs> it's getting darker. <laughs> Trees are like, no, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> no, <laughs> I haven't put my waterproofs on. Uh, Yes, yes, I'm gonna put them on. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna go in this lay by. Right, it's like snow actually. Ah, <laughs> welcome to our winter wonderland. It's <laughs> <laughs> really quickly. Oh, blue sky's coming back in. Here's the railway line. Let's have a look. Choo choo. I'm gonna cross under that in a bit. And just over here is a good photo opportunity. Do 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 do. Dartmoor National Park, yay! <laughs> There you go. Third point of interest. <laughs> Two more miles away. There you go. This is where it used to start. Where it used to start. Yeah, it's cool, huh? The road took us down into Ivy Bridge, past the Stowford paper mill, first established in the late 18th century. Now disused, it's due to be refurbished as a housing project. A little further on, and we found ourselves mesmerised by the River Erm, before heading east out of town onto Bitterford. It was lovely to be walking in the sunshine, overlooking fields of green. Here we go, so we're just entering into Bitterford now. We're going to cut underneath the railway, and then sort of worm our way back to the car via all little roads. So it's not going to be super fast walking, but we'll get away from some of this traffic, which would be nice. And the weather is holding up just fine. Bitterford was an interesting place. We passed by an old toll house dating to the 17th and 18th century, and then ducked under an impressive viaduct, where the remains of the original 1840s construction are still the same. It wasn't long before we'd left the traffic behind and meandered our way along quiet country roads. The amount of water everywhere was hardly surprising given the conditions of the Find previous the day. Of this uh, flooding that everyone's had. Yeah. <clears throat> Aw, this is cool. This is cool nice. I like horses. spending time with you, but <laughs> I like horses. <laughs> hey, Pat. Oh, you're not a dog, actually, are you? Are you friendly? Hello. <laughs> you're so nice. Nice and warm. 
<laughs> is this a camera? You can take pictures. Slimy <laughs> horse stuff on it. So we've not really got too far to go now. We've just been storming the roads for the last however many hours. But it's been good, it's been nice actually. Um, obviously you can switch off a lot more on the roads. Um, and we're, yeah, until, <laughs> until a car like sneaks up behind you and goes beep and we both go Whoa! <laughs> So funny. But um, yeah, we're, we're going to join the river in a minute, the Avon River, and then we'll just head out back up to the car and that'll complete our unanticipated non circle. <laughs> non yeah. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's been really enjoyable, obviously. Um, learned a lot, as I keep saying. Obviously, doing this as well, seeing different part of Dartmoor that I probably would never have seen. Um, so it's been nice, but anyway, not quite done yet. <laughs> the final stretch of walking saw us rejoin the River Avon near Didworthy and we spent some time eyeing up the interesting collection of trees in the area before pressing on back to the car. So, so the gate is locked and we've got our own like dog hole. <laughs> so we're going to follow the river all the way back to the car. Ideal. We have an obstacle. <laughs> well, that's because, no, is this, does the footpath continue all along? Yeah, it should do, but it seems to go up here. Okay. And it says private, private garden. garden. No so we have to go up and along, I guess. Aw, goodbye river. <laughs> Bluebell's coming up. Yes. Nice. So nice to be in the woods. Just love the trees. Yeah. Of course, spring is coming up as well. So as we put it out, lots of wildflowers coming up now. Still just a shoot, not quite the color. The birds are singing, trees are rustling with the wind. It's very peaceful indeed. Just wish this was a longer stretch. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> The car is just over there and we've got this gate that we can't get through. I couldn't open it. Anne is definitely more of a master at gates than I am, so she's having it go. But Anne can't do it. There's no hope. We're just gonna have to stay here forever. They've like put the metal exactly. there. Yeah, it's too... How weird is that? I don't know what they've done, but it doesn't work. <laughs> And then a nice ford. You get wet feet right at the end. Ah, they're soaked. Help! Why am I just stood in it? Help! <laughs> uh, how are we supposed to get through that? Oh man, my feet are soaked now. <laughs> so close to the car. That's what I did, but it went terribly wrong. <laughs> okay, here we go. Time for wet feet. Cross the go. <laughs> nice. And this is Shipley Bridge itself. Looking much more glamorous today in the sunshine. <laughs> Beautiful. So, so nice. Just wow, that's all I have to say. <laughs> so here we are then, we've crossed over the river and we're back at the car park, which is so much busier than yesterday. These guys are lightweight. <laughs> but it has been a really, really good adventure. Uh, obviously seen, yeah, probably. Um, seen some of the true nature of Dartmoor as an amazing natural wild space. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little adventure. Obviously, I haven't been able to show you my tent or my stove. I'll have to do that in a different video. That's, this is life on the trail, basically. So, 
thanks so much for following along guys thanks to Anne as well don't forget to follow her what's your instagram thistle dragon thistle dragon hop on it link will be below as well and uh until next time enjoy your adventures and stay wild <laughs> boom